everyone. This is Sean Moore here. You know, obviously, you know, we're looking at playing Space Engineers. Um, you know, I looked at this game back in October originally, and um, yeah, it was kind of interesting. I felt it didn't have enough going for it, so I waited. Um, now I kind of looked at it recently, and it's actually quite interesting, I think. Um, I decided to take the plunge and dive into it. You know, call me stupid or silly or whatever, but <laughs> I just felt it's worth it. You know, nowadays with these silly uh, games where they're in alpha and you can buy them and people you know, pay for it. And yeah, it is to say it's kind of interesting, kind of cool. Um, I wish that these people or these kind of things you didn't occur, like with the green lighting and all that. Um, it just seems that now lately... <laughs> You'll have content. You'll have the games that are made. You know, will they ever get it done? Would be my question, right? When is the game actually complete? So, uh, but no. Other than that, that's the little rant there. Let's go. You check out this awesome game. Uh, unfortunately, this is the way it is. Buying games like this. So let's see here. YouTube. Realistic. There we go. Uh, da, da, da. Offline. Yeah. No. I. Uh, I've tried the settings on different settings before, like on, on like times ten inventory size and times three, and then even the quicker efficiency of the assembler and the refinery speeds. And I find it makes the game boring almost because the refiner and assemble will be really quick. Uh, Plus, I figured out a way around all that stuff, so uh, I'm not even sure if it's really, you know, if it matters if it's higher or not. Um, I just find the longer it takes, the the more fun I have for whatever reason. <laughs> so let's see here. Uh, perfect. Okay, let's go check this out. Okay, and here we are. We're in our world. So the crash, the ship scenario. So where are we? I'm kind of looking around just to see where the lay of the asteroids are, or whatever you want to call these big rocks in the sky and the space. I don't like these ones. It's pretty bad distribution. Oh no! Okay, there we go. Oh, okay, there's a big one. So, you know what? Let's back this ship out of here. The ship is still functional when you get it, which is kind of interesting. I was kind of disappointed in that a little bit. Um, I don't like the, the survival boat because it comes with an assembler and refinery already built. So, that almost takes out that portion of that game, in my mind. So, let's go move the ship here. Inertial dampers off, reactors on. It's back up here. And because the dampers are off, I can go as quick as I want. I like that big rock there. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. One, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven. Seven. See, I wonder what it means by 16. Because I don't count 16 always. But there has to be. Let's see here. Let's go up, 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 up. Big rock, big rock, very big rock. So I'm just going up somewhere here, so it can be kind of relatively close to everything. And away, okay. Let's see where we are here. 
So that was the rock we started on. Okay. How about right here? Looks like a good spot. Let's go back a bit. Let's just kind of using thrusters. Uh, using the one thruster, of course. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I think this is about right where we're going to be. Nice and far away from everything, but enough to make a good trip. So yeah, so this is it. This is our little your ship that we start with. If you notice, it's kind of destroyed, but it, it, it is pretty functional. Uh, the ship is pretty useless except for spare parts and whatnot. So... I'm actually probably going to turn the vehicle off just because to conserve on fuel. Plus we don't need them. And now first order of business. What do we do? Survival. Do we have any storage on here? No. I've already done the exploration of it. And it's a pretty useless ship. It's big. Um, it looks neat. But as far as functionality wise, this is it got the three reactors so in one way you got materials off of this stuff let me set the stuff up here well there that we won't need the hydro because that's for mining and uh, you'll see why oh okay there's a private sale already we'll have to keep an eye on that when it gets closer we'll go out and get it uh, yeah see the, so there's the uranium in here yeah but there's nothing no storage so that's what the private sale will be for. We're going to try and see what how we can get that, but we need to let that come closer. So let's do some repairs. Um, I'm not sure what you all think about me playing this game, but I kind of have an idea of what I'm going to do. Um, I'm not always going to show off something. It's more or less when I have something to show, I'm going to make a video. Um, so be no expectations of it. Um, I do want to work on the other videos I have, like the Minecraft and the Killing Floor. And, um, I'm still going to play Seven Days to Die with my brother, right? So that's not going away. I just wanted something different that I can play uh, when I'm not playing with my brother and when I'm not editing videos, um, when the time affords it. I can play this now usually when I edit videos I need a lot of time or more time so th this game will serve to fill the time gap where I have not enough time to edit and not enough time for really anything but just enough time to hop on and maybe weld a couple things or you know maybe grind a few things um, now in this game, there's a couple ways of, of restoring your 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 energy, um, but not your health. Well, your health you can restore as well if you have a, a medical bay, but the, the couple ways of restoring your energy is through a medical bay or through, uh, you know, through a cockpit. And I will show you how that works. And uh, Okay, let's go see what that... Uh, here we go. This is what I want to show you guys. So, I'm at 64.7 energy. If you look on the bottom left, turn it on. Now I want to see, I regenerate. There, I'm done. Turn off reactors, pop out. Now let's continue repairing. Now I'm waiting for that private sale to come closer. Um, it's almost close enough. What I want to do with it is uh, basically commandeer it and uh, take it apart. It has some cool stuff on it. I think, I hope. And it'd be very useful to us, I think, in our current state of affairs. Since we don't have a refinery and we don't have a replicator of any sort. So how are we going to do this? I always get disorientated so we'll save it right here so if I get lost I can always reload it
Okay, so. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> so, I had to reload it. <laughs> it was an epic fail. Um, so, what we'll do is I will stop recording right here and I will cut it to when I'm actually going to go and capture that private sale. So, yeah, so I'll see you when I'm going to go do that. So I started the, the process. Um, so I've, I'm leaving our ship. But I'm not gonna go too far. Huh? Huh? Oh, this is the tricky part. Is getting back. Okay. Hopefully we'll be able to use this. Oh, whoa! What happened? That thing just disappeared. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well, I'm heading back then. <laughs> no way. There we go. That sucks. Why is that gone? That's retarded. Must have waited too long, I guess. Huh. <laughs> I guess we'll fly back to our station here and we'll call this an episode. So thank you everyone for watching. Um, it was great. And uh, yeah, this is exciting. I'll need to take a screenshot here as we're coming in. And uh, yeah, this is Space Engineers. I think you're going to see a lot more, um, a lot more updates. And uh, yeah, um, I'm going to try not to edit too much, just cut out and uh, compress parts, but you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. As you know, this is realistic, and yeah, we'll see you again another time. Thank you for watching, and you all have a great day.